everybody, my name is Toby Simpson, as the name of my channel says, and today I'll be showing you how I am going to customise the hel my helmet to suit my neck, I suppose you could say. So, with this helmet, it's an O'Neill Series 3, if I believe correctly. It's the green and grey and little touch of blue edition, sort of. And my problem that I've been having that I'm going to solve today is that when I do up my helmet at the bottom, I do it up, it's all well and good, but then these two cheek pads, there's not enough cheek pad to cover this, and this rubs on my neck, and I've had some pretty bad rashes from that. So today, I will be showing you how I'm going to fix that. Um, it's not, it's not going to be the most attractive, but you know, it's underneath your chin. No one, no one's going to see it. No one's going to care. Whatever else. So, as you may have noticed when I was just had my helmet on, I just put my thumb where these straps overlap or don't overlap. So, what you're going to want to do? Here's your answer. Duct tape. Now, sounds pretty stupid. Duct tape on a motorbike helmet. What's that gonna do? Well, what it's gonna, what I'm gonna do with it is I'm gonna wrap it around here so that it's gonna cover up these edges. Because as you might be able to see, right where the this or the edge of the helmet is, you can see that's a little bit jagged. So, so that can hurt like your neck and like rub a lot. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get my duct tape. I have got a knife here somewhere. If I can find it. Hmm. Anyway. Show must go on. So so I've got the side with the strap on it as, as you'd want. And then I'm gonna get my duct tape, if I can get it moving, I suppose, right so I've got my duct tape off of the roll a little bit, so now you're going to want to overlap it that tiny bit, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just pull that out and then just Wrap that around that edge. And then wrap it around. And then you're going to do that a couple of times. And as you would have thought, it would cover up the corners. And then you'd want to, when you cut it off, you want to have the cut facing away from where your chin's going to be. So that you don't have the seam on your neck, like the seam of the duct tape. So, there we go, got it cut, and you just want to press it down, just to make sure that it's all on there, good and everything, and then, see, make sure that it's in the right spot, so, so that the duct tape is going to be on your neck, and then covering the, the, um, covering the two pads, so as you can see we've got, yeah, we've got plenty. So under there, as you can, wait, I'll just clip this up. Right, so we've got plenty of duct tape on both sides of the cheek, of the cheek pad things. So no part of the actual helmet strap is on my neck, it's just the duct tape. So it's rounded off those edges and covered it so that those aren't going to rub. 
Right, so as you can see, pretty rough job, but not too bad. See, we've got a little bit of bubbles there. It's reasonably difficult to do, but at the same time, it's not the hardest thing in the world. So, as I was trying to show you before, where the cheek pad ends where my finger is, and we've got that little bit of overlap, and on the other side, when you have it around, you've got the same overlap. So, like, you see we've got plenty, but that's covering most of the bottom of the helmet, and you have a bit of a loop, so that should be pretty good. And then, as you can see, well, with my helmet, it's a bit different, but, um, grey duct tape, grey on the helmet. Like, it sort of blends in, like, with these pads around there, it blends in with them. So it sort of looks like it's already... You have to look really closely to, well, in order to spot the difference. Or, like, spot that it's not supposed to be there. So, like, on the inside, you know, can't even tell at all. So, yeah. This has been how I fix my motorbike helmet strap from rubbing on my neck. And I'm happy for you guys to try it. It does help, but with some helmets, you don't need to because the cheek pads already overlap which I'm I'm no expert I'm not oh. sure if they're actually supposed to overlap or not but um, I like it when they overlap because it just gives me that padding and because with this helmet this new helmet that I've never worn except for like in well I've ridden with it once and um, yeah um, it rubs pretty badly and like it really started to hurt that part of my neck so I decided to do this idea. Um, I've seen people do it on BMX helmets. I've done it on my BMX helmet. It helps and um, doesn't get in the way at all and just changes the look of your helmet a little bit. Nothing too major. So, 